You came in here and you're a very nice guy. Yeah, so you're to nice. see you lose your cool, I don't know if you're playing it up for the show or did you really lose your cool? I'm curious. Well, so first off, I think you are to some degree mischaracterize it, mischaracterize the interaction that I specifically had with Aurora. Granted, we have two episodes a week that are eight hours long. I don't commit to memory precisely every interaction I have. Although I'd, I'd be happy to actually pull it up and review it. It could have been the case that she, her phone went off three times during the show, if oh, I recall. So yes, it would. It was. It would have been frustrating. Just the back. But though. this characterization. See, that's fucked yeah, up. Like I don't even think like joking TSA. about it is funny. But so, oh well, God, too much. Just the way I was raised was to respect. Did women. you gallop up here? Ah, uh, there's a the difference. Did you gallop yeah. up on a white? Is your white horse out there? Do you have it hooked? That's how is you look at men that respect total women. Total white knight bullshit. Come on. Bullshit. Wait, wait. Women. That's you. Women that's are equal to men. Right? Oh, okay, great. Um, unless we talk to them like they're men, then that that's too much. That's too much. You guys don't talk to them like they're men. Yeah, I mean, you if you started me. yelling at me, I'd be like, yo, fuck out of here. Like, right. I'm not getting paid for this. This mm-hmm. isn't my job. I came here to hang. And if you're going to lose your cool in me, I'm like, dude, like, I don't need you. Yeah, but right? if you're going to have adversarial conversations, which, right, is that's how, okay. which is how the show is pitched. And I told Brian straight up, I said, I thought you were meaner than you were when I made that video saying, fuck Brian. I thought he would say, like, you're a whore. You're never going to get married. That's not true. He asked questions to set them up for viral clips to make them look stupid. So it's different. So that's why I said, you know what? You know We're not going to go funny? personal job. I mean, at the end of the day, this is a business, right? Hang on. Absolutely, 100%. Do not set women up to say stupid things. I don't even know the questions when I come in. No idea. A lot of these women are fucking stupid. Now, I just want to make sure that we're crystal clear. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of the women who come in, they're not set up. They just say really fucking stupid shit. Right. I mean, if That's you did the show with men, it'd be the same thing. As men. Look at us right yeah, now, absolutely. right? absolutely. A lot of people yeah. say stupid shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, so when you characterize it as a setup, right, there's no setup. They just say fucking stupid shit. Now, it's hilarious to clip it and put it out there because they said something fucking stupid every bit as much as it would be for any man. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, they're not interviewing smart girls, right? Because then that wouldn't go viral. Oh, I mean... I'm sorry, they have degrees in psychology, they have degrees in mathematics, they have uh, university master's degrees, many of these women come in, can't wait to do a debate, and they say the stupidest shit on planet Earth. Who could we get who would be up to the standards that you would have of an intelligent woman? What would we need besides a master's degree, high education? Like what? what? What do you want us to go get a fucking scientist? Like what do you want us to go get? What women can we find that aren't going to say this retarded shit? That's what I want to know. And that's where I think that now that I've actually talked to you guys for about an hour, I don't think Brian disrespects women. I don't. Andrew, not I'm enough. not sure yet. Not enough. Well, I think not if not your enough. show, if you saw the value in doing an eight-hour show promoting them, you would have gone the complete other way. You're going where the bag is. <coughs> so I don't think you hate them. And I don't think you want to disrespect them. I don't think you sleep at our night knowing I really stuck it to that girl. I think, Andrew, I think you're the circus leader in do. a clown show. That's literally what we all do. That's what I do for a living. That's what you do for a living. You surround yourself by people who provide you interesting debate and conversation. Because if you talk to fucking the same kind of people on your wavelength all day, like no one's tuning in. They want to hear Howard Stern-esque conversations, right? Jairus Pectoam and built his living around exploiting 18-year-old women in an evil and destructive industry. No, no kidding. I would Is that be for me or you? to find a duo of creeps who values women less than you two. Is that at you guys? No, that's at you. Oh, oh nice. So, built his living around... Hold on. The, yo, yes. Giovanni, thank First you. First of all, it's not cool that you have your little fanboys coming in chiming in. Why not? Because we don't have that privilege. Hey, okay. Now it's an off... Now fan? you guys have an advantage. Wait. You have call a friend. Your, fan, your fanboys can chime in right now. I didn't promote the show. Oh, well, whose fault is that? (laughs) I sent you the link. You told you before the show. In fact, before the show, you said, depending on my performance on the show, I'm reluctant to actually (laughs) promote it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, because we're the dumb bitches here in this scenario. We're not debaters. I've never done this. He's a professional. For all I know, you prepped the fucking... We're going to have a champagne porn contest after this. Well, so let's let's go back to the... If I had prepped Biden for his last (laughs) debate, I just want to let you know that. That would not be... (laughs) Yeah, that, was, I, the I, joke. that I, was the joke. Yeah, I'd be pretty ashamed of myself for that one. But let, I mean, so let's go back to the original claim. So you originally said there was this girl, cell phone went off. I yelled at her, Nick. <laughs> if you can find the clip, I might have. Were shown, you there? I, I'll concede no, that no, I. I so really I'll certainly concede no, that I there. get frustrated on the show because a lot of these people are not media trained, <laughs> camera trained, etc. 
Grid One Motorsports donated Yo, one hundred dollars and one cent. About to start my show, but she ate these dudes. Bro, you ain't got a white knight so hard. The women do that for you on stage on demand. These women are the definition of mental midgets. All right, thank you. Midgets under the there bus. There you go. That's crazy. But he should have used dwarves. First of all, <laughs> right. M word is as bad now as the, the M word. It's little people. In fact, you had a, a little person. Dwarf is actually a category. That's what they want to be. It's called. under a certain height. I thought they dwarf. preferred dwarf. I don't like the they word like dwarf. They like little person. Little people. Because it sounds well, that's the new mythical. One. Yeah, dwarf is the old one. You're right. But they have beards. Uh, but now I believe. Then they look mythical. Don't yeah, call me. I, look, I think yeah, dwarf. I think it fits. Dwarf right. is a smaller one now. I believe it's under three eight, perhaps. Is I'm it? not sure. Disregard that guy's claims. He's using slurs. He's he's gonna get canceled. Grid one. You are not you're, helping you're our soy boy men. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use the M word. I'm like. Gah! That is the euphemism treadmill, though. So, I guess midget used to be acceptable. Now it's not. Dwarf was acceptable. Now it's. Eh, I don't know where the word is. Now it's a little person. Yes. So in any case, going back to the criticisms, I don't think when you say like I yelled and screamed at her, I mean, you guys are kind of almost yelling and screaming at us. I I have a pretty soft spoken voice. I'm just a you you do. That's how I be. I have ADHD. No, uh, I'm not upset. I have every letter in the book. I'm not upset by it, but I, I might, you know, increase my volume a little bit and might be a bit frustrated. But at least when it came to her phone specifically, I don't think I was verbally abusive to her when it came to her phone. Wait, question for you. Go ahead. That guy paid $9 to write that comment, and he called us fucking soy boys? <laughs> no, no, he paid 100 100 dollars to write that, and I'm the loser? I love it. I'm going to start paying in a second for our team on the side. <laughs> These two guys are really good debaters. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, make your bag, boys. But you are in the studio debating, just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. We're happy to be here. So I guess going back to the criticisms, you use the term verbal abuse. So what, how do you consider verbal, what do you consider verbal abuse? Like if they're on the set and they're like, take it, bitch. Is that verbal abuse? Take it, bitch? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if, you're, if they're like oh, you shooting while they're porn, fucking. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 but when no. they're shooting porn, how it works, just so you know, is it's very safe happy environment where oh, yeah. you go over what they want, what they don't want, the nose, safe words, all this and that. That's so, very nice of them. Yeah, so... Before they go and cream this fucking girl's face with eight guys and she's going to have that video out for the rest of her life, before they do that, they want to make sure that they know her no-no words. Yeah. Got to make sure. It's a safe mm-hmm. environment. It's their choice to be there. Yeah. And that's all that matters. It's what they want to do and yeah, it's their choice. I, don't think I mean, wanting eight dicks, there's shouldn't, nothing wrong with that. I don't think that that's all that matters. You I shouldn't think shit that, on someone for... I think that we basically outlaw all sorts of behavior that people want to do because it's really fucking bad behavior. Yeah, but do you have sex, yeah. Andrew? Mm-hmm. With who? My wife. You have sex with your wife? Yeah. No ring? All right. I have my ring. You uh, wear it on the neck. Good for you. So, okay, so you have sex with your wife. Mm-hmm. They're doing the same thing, Andrew. They're having sex with their wife? In most cases, there did are you, a lot of wait, married did couples. Did you have sex, premarital sex? I'm just curious, yeah, dude. I have. Yeah. Sure. Is that like... Because I, the, 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 here's the thing, I'm not religious in any way. So, mm-hmm. do your beliefs and all this stem from a religious background, or just like do you just personally look at it and go like, that's gross, I look that at it shouldn't both belong? Ways. So, one, I would say it's sinful, but I, I would never be able to convince you guys of that. I wouldn't even bother trying. But what I can look at is I can look at the societal damage and how fucking horrific it is mentally on women to be involved in sex work, and none of them end up with a good result. But why do you care about these ever. people? Because if they're because, nobodies. Because this is the society I live in. Right, but because, I don't care because, about anyone. Because here's what I would hope. That I'd be driving down the fucking road in my shitty car, and the tire goes, and bam, I hit a rock, and I'm fucking dead. My daughters are orphaned, right? And they're struggling, and one of their friends goes, hey, you know what? You could go to this shoot and suck a dick, and they'll pay you 20 grand. And she goes, you know what? That sounds like easy money. I wish to God, before they walk in that studio, somebody like me would be like, No. Don't do that. Do anything but that. Work as a fucking barista. Go do anything but this. But that's not the world we live in. Look, I'm not going to debate you on that. But if someone chooses to go into that, it's like, eh. I mean, working at Starbucks is arguably more degrading to your body yeah, than choose. taking eight cocks. Yeah. Why can't somebody choose to fuck a dead body? Well, they can. And do you have any moral qualms with that? Nope, because the body's dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> no so, one's getting hurt. So it's fine. What? Who's getting hurt? So if they walk over and they grab roadkill off the road and start fucking it, you have no moral objection to that. None. None. Eula None. sees the pagan donated $100. Yeah, Tone policing is controlling speech and opinions is an end run around to control modes of expression, which is the means to control the narrative. 
Control that and you control society. Just stop. I feel like I'm playing like fucking like Dungeons and Dragons. I never know. (laughs) That sounded like a quest. (laughs) You know what I think beyond the issue of them choosing to do that is... They do have a lot of mental health issues when they do it. Not all of them. Who doesn't have But they do. A lot of people do have mental health issues. Just one Don't you have mental health issues? No, just you one one believe in God. That's a mental health issue. To tone a thousand percent. Me. You exploit women making them into literal whores. And you want to tone police me? Dude. You fail at I life. I want that hundred bucks. better. Because <laughs> I just made him spend another hundred. <laughs> That's our hundred. Wait, so, hold on. So, let's explore a couple of the claims. So, so hang on. I just want to make sure I got this clear. Okay. Me believing in God to use a mental health issue, but fucking a dead body. Also a mental health issue. No, I agree. Wait, wait. Why is that a mental health issue? It is. It's fucking weird. You have no moral issues with it at all. Well, yeah. I don't really give a shit about it, but I also don't care that you believe in God because you don't affect me. Yeah, but if I did implement those morals of you can't fuck dead body because gross and immoral. But what's gross? Anal sex? But immoral, immoral to have sex with a dead body. You would say what? You're hurting my bodily autonomy? Like, that, that's too much for you? Is that one line too much? No, I didn't. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> what, so so let me ask that. Can I just ask you a question, dude? Where does sex stop being gross or start being gross for you? Yeah, so I'm not making an ick argument. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what type of sexual intercourse with a female is going to be gross or not gross right. or tasteful or not tasteful. What is relevant, though, is that to say that we can put no restrictions on consenting sex is insane. We do it all the time. For instance, do you think that a brother should be able to fuck his sister? I don't don't think so. I don't think so. Why? Because it's gross. Yeah, but that's my (laughs) opinion. But guess what? Someone else is going to think that's okay. Is it immoral? Is it immoral? (laughs) Uh, According to today's society, sure, but half the world does it. Yeah, do you think it's immoral? I think a lot of things in this world yeah, are Yeah, is that immoral or not? Is that immoral? What's immoral to you? Where do you get your morals? Well, well I, they're invented so by I, man, right? I, morals, I, right? I, they're not where they pass well, down to you by well, God? Well, if it's just subjective, right? Yeah. Then I don't know how you call anything immoral ever. That's, so there you go. Like, if you think it's subjective. Someone could find sitting next to a sex doll immoral. So then from your worldview, then, you have to understand what that would mean. That would mean that you couldn't say serial killers were immoral. You couldn't say that child underage diddlers were immoral. You couldn't say anything was immoral if your claim is we just make up morality. We do make up morality. Well, then if we do just make up morality, you have no objective metric for which to call anything immoral ever. That's kind of how it so shit works, Nothing right? anything does is immoral. It just depends on society's standards. And right now, having eight cocks in your mouth isn't illegal. So if society says... One day if they do, so then it is. Be sure to be, I just want to make sure that yeah. we're clear in your worldview then. If society says that you can diddle kids, totally moral. No. What do you mean? I, no. I don't think so. Wait, why not? Absolutely not. Because I can disagree with things too, but no, I don't disagree with a basis, person taking what, eight what, dicks. What would the basis be to make the disagreement if it's just a subjective metric? If murder was legal, I still would be like, oh, that's kind of whack. Why? Because I don't... just doesn't feel right. So can you legislate based on it doesn't feel no, right? No, you can't. That's why Then this why do you legislate against, against murderers and kid diddlers? Dude, I don't fucking make the rules. Would you? No. <laughs> so you wouldn't legislate against kid diddlers? Oh, I would do that. Okay, well, then if you would do that, then you would sure. legislate based on eh. Based on eh. It gives me the ick, right? It would be based on the fact that a child can't make up its own decisions and it's fucking a child. Yeah, but your entire basis for what is moral, mm-hmm. you just told me, mm-hmm. is based literally on your subjective metric of your preference of I don't like it. For me, yeah. yeah. We all have, it's called morals. Like, we have our own, right? So like, if you have your own morals. Yes. You say that the kid diddler bad. Yes. Then what would, and you would legislate against it based on your own morals. Sure. Why couldn't I legislate on this thing I say you is can. bad based on Dude, my morals? I'm not, but you, I, I don't care about your opinion just like you don't care about mine. Well, no, no, no. See, I do. You because care about my opinion? Live in, yeah, unfortunately. But you, you don't know who I am until we just met. you can vote. He can vote. I live in a society. He can't vote. He's from Canada. He told me, yeah, right? Well, we'll see. So what, the thing what he is, does is that the, so if you wonder why I care, thing, no. why do you care? Why do you thing? care what all these people do? Why do you give a shit so much? Is because if they just go all of our morality. Name taken, donated $100. Andrew, what you bring to the podcast, man, but you've cut Brian off a few times now. 
Oh, they're Probably turning on their own. For Brian. <laughs> it, it's the nature of a fast-paced yeah. show like this. People cut each other off. <laughs> Andrew do be talking a lot. I feel like yeah, I haven't. Yeah. I haven't got the talking stick. You guys say you disagree a lot. Brian, where's Brian? Uh, at? Hold on, hold on. You gotta allow Andrew to finish his argument. Okay. If everybody just has these kind of subjective metrics for what is moral, and it's all just coming from our own personal preference or purview or this or that. They have no basis to say, one, that anything is immoral, or two, that me legislating any of my morals would be any worse than you doing it. So if I say sex work is unequivocally evil and bad, you would have no basis to tell me I'm wrong. Yeah. I don't, but I don't care about your then opinion. I can the, discuss then that then with that's you. the debate. The, yeah, deba and, so the debate is just, sure, if you and the rest of you Christian populace outlaw sex work, more power to you. Hey, if you get the fucking job done, God bless you. Yeah. So, so how come you guys don't bring on male performers? I and, did, we just did. We brought and, on two and, male performers. You have any problems with them, Andrew? Yeah. I've never seen you guys. I also debate. Go, uh, a male. I debate red pill gurus. Well, we, we you had, have to uh, understand when you say who, you which guys, guy? Sterling Cooper. Right. We yeah. have him on. The whatever the show. podcast is Brian Atlas. Yeah, right. right. I'm just a guest. Own. Yeah. Yeah. Right. My show. Yeah, I debate with them all the time. Happy to. Has do anyone it. ever changed your opinion? Yeah, I've had my opinion changed about tons of things, especially the way that men and women interactively date, how it operates in the year 2024, a lot of the reasons people move towards sex work. There was all sorts of presuppositions I had which were completely and totally untrue. And mm -hmm. what I've come to is, interestingly enough, I actually go into debates with open minds. But when somebody says, hey, it's okay to fuck a dead body, obviously, I'm not so sure that your opinion on this is great. But the thing is, uh, I still want to listen to why they think what they think. I want to understand why it is that they believe what it is that they believe. And what I found is this, unequivocally, almost every sex worker I've talked to regrets it. At the end of their road, when they're all done, they always look back and say, I wish I hadn't done that. And if you talk to them privately, they say, you're absolutely fucking right. And I wish more people would do something about this industry. I'm going to chime in there. Yeah. I know these girls very well. A lot of them are close friends of do mine. Yeah, I have. And I know them very well, and I get close with them outside the show, and these are my, my best friends and favorite people, and I totally disagree with you. Not most of them regret it. Not most of them are pissed that they did it and would have made different choices. A lot of them rep it and are very happy. How many of the ones who are retired are you uh, getting into? A lot of them. I, I talked to a lot of the ones that are retired. They're very happy with, first of all, they made a very big career for themselves. A lot of them made multi, multi millions. Most sex workers don't make shit. How many people do I talk to that hate their job still? They got into sex work. Thing. What they do, when and you're if a plumber, you take Mills like Cherie DeVille, yeah, th that's the top, 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 They're top, shooting top five scenes a day because they love it. You take a girl like Luna mm -hmm. Star. She's been doing this 12 years. She's married to Michael Bay, mm -hmm. worth $600 million. She's married still, to Michael Bay? Yes, or, or about to get married. But yeah. they're, they're dating, they're living together. Still shoots these every are, day because she loves it. These are not the common denominator for sex workers. You're pointing at the top, 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 one point percentile. It'd be like me telling uh, people, hey, Everybody should do a podcast because Destiny's a multimillionaire. Right. So you guys are That debating. would be fucking nuts to say. If I said that, I would be setting people sure. up for massive So let's massive talk about failure. OnlyFans girls then. So that's well, the degree. Or is the, on, or is the sex back work back. also sure. back to like just like someone's hooking behind a dumpster for $5 blowjobs, right? Yeah. I mean, I would that's, consider. That's more the speed versus the top 1% of porn stars. No, no, no. I consider all stars. of it to be under the same purview of degeneracy. When I say degeneracy, so you understand what that means. It just means without morals. So, like somebody who says, I don't care if you fuck a dead body or you fuck rogue sure. guilt, it's fine. I consider that to be absent morals because you say all morality is subjective. It's just up to my purview. Therefore, what I say is moral. What you say is moral. What you say is moral. What you say is moral. Yeah. Right? That's all the absence of morality. But do you guys ever joke around in these debates? Because, yeah. like, I'm not pro fucking dead body. <laughs> you know? He was like, so I didn't just come on here to be like stiff. Now, I, I also like, want to clarify like, I'm just why chilling. we're here. Its the work is a on. very broad bubble of this whole thing. I don't know shit about prostitution. It's illegal in many states, yeah, and a lot of times it's not people's choices. That. I'm here to stand up for uh -huh. adult stars doing adult films, and then OnlyFans girls, yeah, girls, those, those everyday are girls prostitutes, that though. sell exclusive content. How is a corn star not a prostitute, bro? That's a prostitute. Absolutely not. Oh, Absolutely really? Not. So, yeah. the, so as long as I give you money, as long as I have a camera in your face, it's not hooking? See, that <laughs> argument gets told to me all the time. Because and it's and a I good argument. It's a argument. It, wait, wait. What's the counter? It's, it's a terrible dollars. argument. One sec, guys. In the wise words of Andre Vilson, the poorest man in the world still sees himself richer than a degenerate porn star. Correct. And so does everyone else. Yep. See, these are the, the people you guys The poorest man attract. in the world is like, what? You guys attract women haters. Wait, let's investigate this claim. 
What, so what in this statement here has anything to do with woman hating? Are you kidding? He's saying the poorest man on earth mm -hmm. is still richer because a girl shoots adult films on her own terms. No, yeah, so... That's... Got, that's, that's well, bro, you know what kind of bum yeah, you have to be to be a quote. broke man? Here's the quote. To be a broke guy in 2024. Yeah, but here's what the quote so, is. Okay, we'll get... The quote is, is that the poorest man in the world will always consider himself richer than a cuck. Somebody who allows somebody else to purposely fuck their wife. The poorest he didn't man... Say cuck. He said Yeah, I, I know. Shirt. He got it wrong. Oh. But what the quote actually oh, is... Oh, yeah, I mean, I agree with that yeah, one. Yeah, is that the poorest man in the world will always consider themselves richer than the man who shares his wife. Maybe yeah, later, maybe too. later, but... <laughs> All right. Um, Andrew, Kirill, you said something about uh, broke men are, are bums, or I, I don't want to misquote yeah. you. Just could you repeat? Cause oh, I was just, you know, if, he's, if you're going to the extreme of the poorest man in the world, you're like, why are we using that guy as a metric? Imagine but is it like is a that? broke dude. Well, it's, it's, to, it's what's to just the, make the parallel. He has no purpose in life. Yeah, it's just wait, to make wait, the wait. parallel that materialism Yeah, I get it. The, 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 yeah, I know but, what you're saying. Uh, and Kirill, if I can, could you just scoot your mic to the edge of the table? Yeah, yeah, dude. And we just want to get you a bit more into frame. Are you able to just scoot a little closer that way? Hey, let me send his lap. Yeah, a little cuddle sesh. That's um, okay. Wait, and you said... I mean, so, it wouldn't be immoral, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Kirill, you, you said that he, a broke man has no purpose. Yeah. Like What's no point? value in there? Yeah, absolutely not. What are you doing as a broke dude? Like, I have broke dude friends, and I'm like, how are you surviving in this world? <laughs> well, certainly you need resources to survive. If they have no value, they wouldn't be your friends, right? If they have no... They're, they're my friends, but you just look at it, you're like, oh, I can't believe you're, like, a bum. <laughs> sure, I have friends who... It's fine if you're 21 and broke. It's the OG high school homies, you know? Perhaps they even were wealthy at one point, yes. but... Business failed, yeah, health, of course. health problem, yeah. catastrophic health problem. Sure. Get totally I'm talking flushed. in extremes, too, so, you know. Sure. Yeah. Shows this week, we did not have much time no. to prep. Uh, but, we didn't even uh, prep in the car. We were just talking about my lactate I mean, I'm and my just cheese like, I ate. Uh, but we're ready. Uh, we're fucking ready. Question for you, Kirill. I, Andrew, my, we can explore fucking. this for a, a few <laughs> minutes here. You mentioned something about religion. Uh, do you, view, you said something along the lines of, and correct me if I'm wrong, you view religious people or religion as a mental illness? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. I just, wait, an wait, invisible wait. and imaginary friend in the sky is a mental illness. Okay. Isn't mental illness invisible and imaginary? I don't know. I'm not a scientist. I'm just throwing around buzzwords yeah. and saying that I mean, someone like who talks to, if, if I have a friend that talks every night at the edge of their bed to someone in the sky, yeah, it's a little fucking weird. I'm like, ah, that guy's probably a little... Nuts. In this day and age, I understand if you're like 70, like my grandma, you're about to meet God. You're like, all right, let me try to at and least... And you said you're Jewish but non-practicing? Yeah. Never. So like ethnic or were you, were you Born religious? in Russia. My, you know, just Russian Jews that escaped. Gotcha. I got circumcised at age seven, so it wasn't really like a thing. One Circumcisions sec. weren't like a thing in Russia. G uh, Grid One Motorsports, say what you want, but no grown-ass man wants another dude to be able to ask him how his deck tastes. <laughs> that is what kissing a chick that's had nine cocks in her brow. We haven't talked it about cocks yet. We're too messy. in L, lads. We need to structure this debate because I, I could talk on the cucks. No, no one wants yeah. another I can dude speak to be able to ask him. Uh, thank you. I feel, uh, I, I feel that. But we. we, we okay. So I would just kind of argue that I think it's far more delusional, far more delusional to think that a group of like 20 to 30 year old men's gangbanging an 18 year old chick and you thinking, well, it's okay because she consented to it, that the ramifications of that, how could that be less delusional than me thinking, ah, uh, you know, maybe there is a divine creator based on the fact that everything has order, which makes no sense. Right, but my whole thing is my identity isn't based in bashing either. I don't shit on you, and I don't shit on them. Yeah. I just kind of live my life, but right? Why, if, but if I, you know, I just don't like religious people. And I have no problem with, you know, porn stars because, you know, we have... Similar problems. Do you think you can be a porn star? No, and, I'm and literally be, a no, white no, Russian you, Jewish kid. Not you. I'm asking, do you, th do you let me finish the question. Oh, sorry. Do you think that you could be a porn star while you identify as being a Christian at the same time? I don't know enough about religion we're, to we're tell you, like, religious. what, like, to be like, to, could you? Sh I don't know. I don't know. Like, what are the rules but that can state I, I can't a be a porn star? question about, about the Bible? So correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm just asking, but Mary Magdalene. Wasn't she a prostitute? No. That Jesus said, no. come hang out with the 12 disciples? No. She was not? She was not a prostitute. Pretty sure that's... 100% pr positive Mary Magdalene was not a prostitute. That's why a, is that a... a wait, well, you can't be 100% positive. It's, it's, it, no, it's not. A bunch of fucking atheists say this. 
The Bible nowhere says that Mary Magdalene was a prostitute ever. Then nowhere. Nick? Mick, Nick can pull it up. Nick, pull it up. Yep. I, I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know shit. Mary but Magdalene, I'm pretty sure. absolutely not a prostitute. I but some of the Christian <laughs> like religions, keep going. <laughs> uh, they uh, interpret it that way, correct? There could that be some more. Protestant sects that would, would probably not be considered Perfect. Christian, but could identify themselves as being Christian. But why do they that? think that she's a prostitute? Because people can think all kinds of crazy shit. It's not a rumor, is it? It's just a rumor? Like there must be just, something in the Bible when, that led to read, the, that if interpretation. If you read anything, anything can be interpreted incorrectly right. by anybody. Shakespeare. Yeah. But you there can must be a paragraph, or what do they call them? What do you call those? Oh. John 8. What do you call them? Mm -hmm. A Bible stump? That, that <laughs> says she was a prostitute. There's that, not. She was not a prostitute. Is, yeah, we can pull it up. Mary Magdalene, as it seems according to scripture, was likely not a prostitute. Ooh. Likely not. Not. They're saying she is, but maybe she so wasn't. There's a slight chance that nope. woman sucked a dick for a dollar. No. Nope. Or like They're a bagel. She's likely not yeah. a prostitute. What it means is there's not any evidence for that. It's just made up. Well, there's not much evidence for anything in the Bible. <laughs> there's a lot of evidence for a lot of things in the Bible. 